constantly and then people will expect that okay life will change people will educate their children accordingly they will know what is human rights they will know what is self uh, self respect or you know dignity and self esteem so but nigeria doesn't have that a normal person doesn't believe that is entitled to go to hospital when he's sick they will rather treat themselves at home drink a bowl do this do that you know so we have a long way to go my brother i swear to god we, are, we will keep to that part because you know what it break my heart this this uh, afternoon or this evening to say when that man who has been a uh, a follower of my ego for nearly 11 years and he was so disappointed that the people back there eh they had they, they, they had no interest in all of this now we they overstretch ourselves I was like, she want what a mobile in Sisha. She really got a word. It, my God, it is in Nigeria. A rich man thinks that is a he, he, he can do. You know, he can beat the hell out of you. Yes, it is a rich man that will break your head because he's rich. You because um, look, their mentality yeah, there. Poor, poor people, they like need that. real education. And yeah, you see, poor people can they can they uh, sort of. Uh, Blame you for provoking a rich man. We he's angry. Yes. Eh? You have made him angry now. You better just go and beg him. If not, you are going to rot in jail. Oh. They will lock you up in prison forever. Oh. Like, are you serious? <laughs> yes. Eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is different. They've so, lost you. Take another one, Baba. God, eh? yeah. God, yes, sir. Thank you. All right, you then. Good, okay? mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, uh, I was talking to my friend today, right? This time I had my friend in the, in, you know, in the Glasgow here. Yeah uh by sure so uh and then uh, we were talking about uh nigerians and uh how they sort of uh, get used to their oppressors and all that i'll tell you the story but let me take this call before the person changes his mind hello there my king Baba. my king the good prince. evening my king eh prince Adi. Uh, prince Adi Bayo. don't tell me now okay prince Adi Bayo here yeah from uh, sweden because there's only one prince in sweden I've got two or three princes yeah. in Canada, and I've got another prince here, yeah. uh, you know, Prince Austin and all that in the UK. But this is Prince Adebayo. You're yeah. right. You're right. Bless My you. king, Baba, some, how are something, you? They have, some, something they happen for Nigeria. I did. Yes. Something they happen for Nigeria. You know, I called Nigeria today. Did you? You know, it's been long. You know, like the last caller said, you know, some of the callers today, they've been speaking my mind, you know. The last call like I just left now said those people in Nigeria somehow they are they are they are acclimatizing to the poverty that the the poor leadership is giving to them. You know, poverty plus poverty, poor mind plus poor people. You know, equals equals zero. Well, the Nigerians, I don't know how we, I don't know how we think we are, we are smart people. It's like it's like the smart ones are the ones that left the country. Baba, I'm telling you the truth too. It's not by coincidence that you, me, and the rest of us left that country. It's not coincidence. It is, it, yeah, it's something they call a uh, survival of the fittest, you know? Mm. The, fittest, the fittest ones are living. The ones who are smarter are living. The ones who are there. We have to preserve the, we have to preserve the intelligence one, therefore, by taking them yeah. to the place that is going to run. Exactly. Hmm. Exactly. Because it's the same if you look at, there's a reason why America and Jamaica are doing well in track and field. When these uh, uh, people came to, to take slaves, they were taking the fittest people who are strong enough to work. Mm. There's no coincidence that they are doing well in track and field. Are they, how many people are in Jamaica? Are they more than Nigerians or the whole of Africa? Why are they always taking first, second, first, second? The same thing, US. You know, there's a reason why they, I was calling people in Nigeria to to tell them what they to have do. A name. They have a, they, you, have a, they have a name for that thing you just said. Now I think they call it a law of natural yeah. selection or something. We Thank you. Brains, law of natural best, selection. Uh, yes. Said, are selected out yes. of the weakest out, in order to preserve exactly. the species. And they said yeah, exactly. that animals, oh, animals are better than us because animals will never yes. allow the weakest to lead them. The weakest of animals will never no. lead an animal. You know. 
or go on. Exactly. They open something here now. Yes. Are they with you? Yes. So there's that's why when we are fighting for them from here, if you go back to the country, you see them, they are very, you know, laid back. They are very laid back, yeah. you know, relax, exactly. You know, and they don't think that they are in the soup. They should be desperate to get out of the hole. But they are relaxed. That means if if they want to kidnap five people now, they will take any five people they like. Right. They want to, if, if uh, soldiers want to enter Okwamana, they will still see people to kill. And they, that's where people, you know, when soldiers, when they kill soldiers there, everybody should run away. But if you believe you me, if those soldiers to enter there to the, kill all of them. Exactly. Even if those soldiers enter there, they will see one of them there, remaining there. Like, no, now, soldiers can't do that. They know that we didn't do it. Exactly. Everybody automatically exactly. believes that they will kill us before they ask questions. So let's run. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, the people in the in the in the, in that place, they have they have they have they have they, they acclimatize quickly to this kind of situation. Look at the and, and even the leadership that's so blind. Look at what people that are leaders are saying. Look at what the wife of Tinubu was saying the other day. That you are going, why are you going abroad to do and kill or kill share people you say and now uh air peace. I respect that man so much. I don't know how. Maybe I can. I, I need to watch that. When Adiola said there is a to, video, yes. I'm like, how come I haven't seen it? I've been looking for two days. That's why I didn't mention it on yeah. this platform for the past two days. But now they said there is a video. But I'm going to look for it. Yeah. I'm, I won't be disappointed. You know, you know? The, the, the kind of things I hear in that place, it's like everything is getting worse. Even how did we manage to get this kind of president that cannot even, yeah. cannot speak, is that slurring? How can we be like this? What is happening? It's like the the ah, Baba. I know if you talk again, no. I know if you talk again. You know that Ooh. that level that uh, they will say ah, Chori, see how Gola Gabati is. Hmm. Oh God. It simply means that the situation is has gone beyond just talking. It has gone beyond more talk. serious. That a real balaga could do by or a little Julia Balaga could do by is saying, Ah, or a serious. Baba, I say, I say, somebody I was talking to, I say, I've raised money for this person three times, set up different businesses, all fail. Prince, all fail. And you, ah, Baba, no, 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 no. The thing that it is well, it is well, you know, it is well. We leave it on that where? prince, eh? You should enjoy the rest yeah, of uh, the evening, and the weekend is almost here I too, see. right? Yes, sir. So you yes, sir. Bye -bye. All right. Thank you so much uh, for all the thank time. You. Eh? Thank you very much. You have a good thank day. you. Bless you. So I have Austin. I want to believe this is Austin, my own uh, uh, Austin. Is that you? Are you there? Can you hear me? Ah, uh, sorry. I actually thought I got uh, Austin on, but somehow I think uh, that just uh, dropped. I'll get I'll another person here. Yeah. Um, hello there. My good general political. Yes. yes, sir. How are you today, Baba? We thank God. We thank God. But well, I'm calling with. I'm saying we thank God in another what's it called um dimension, or in another. Um, like, like uh, the opposite uh, viewpoint. Let's just say, exactly. you know, like uh, we thank God, even though we, exactly. we we are not really thanking God. But yeah, we still thank God. I get you, Baba. Here we are. Go on. You know, one of the callers, one of the callers said that people in Nigeria are already acclimatizing to the situation that is happening. I'm not surprised. Do you know why? Why, sir? I'm not surprised because that's the way the religious indoctrination has shaped our thinking. Mm. An average Nigerian has been, has been even from cultural music upbringing, has been, has been uh, brought up to believe in faith. Faith spelled F A T E, not F A. I-T-F-A-T-E. That is, whatever happens to you, 
order. Whatever happens to you is destined by God or it's a situation that you have to face. You have to accept it. You have to assimilate with it and move it with it with life, either good or bad. Nice. Now, culturally, if we've been raised up with that mentality, how are we going to have revolutionary people? We were not and that is why we were raised in every family. Mm -hmm. Even if you are abused, you believe, well, it is just a time. At some point, I will leave and leave the family. But at that point, you will not say, no, I'm not taking this. That's a mentality we live with it. We grow up and we believe. Well, instead of fighting for our rights, we'll be like, let me, let me manage the situation and get away with it. That is why some of us were able to japa. That is why some people that were not able to japa, some were able to marry up the economic value, sorry, their economic status, and still managing the whole situation. You know, I was shocked. Uh, Are they with you, Baba? Oh, somebody must have interrupted our call. And it must be either network or somebody just called my caller. Is that something about WhatsApp, right? When you are making a WhatsApp call, right? And then another proper call just uh, come through. It can just suddenly put you on hold. Oh, bro. Are you there? I'm so sorry, right? I'm going to have to go take another call, okay? Can you still hear me? I'm so sorry, guys. So I'm going to have to take another one so that we can give other people to us, okay? Sorry about that. Um, here. Hello there. Can you hear me? My good general. Yes, sir. Yeah, my good general. How are you? May God, may God bless you. Good evening. I just called because the last time I called you was uh, during the Buari era, but I watch your program every day. I'm addicted to this program, but my contribution is just that, like the caller, some of them have said, the problem of Nigeria are the Nigerians, not the leaders. No, 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 don't bother to leaders, save them. But they are no. The they, oh. they, they kind of, uh, hmm. oh, God bless you. You know, have you bothered to check those who are really fighting for Nigeria? Like the life of the Shore, the life of the Peter Obi. Have you bothered sometimes? Let me read their comments on Instagram or when they carry Peter Obi news or Shore news. And you see how people... Supposed Nigerians. Yeah. yeah, you know that. These people are enjoying this. They are enjoying this country. It's me and you that is worried. They are you enjoying it. They love no you said no, say sometimes they talk about us. I mean, like all of now with their brothers. Yes, man. You always Even when I read tell you know everything. You always believe yes. that tell you have all the ideas. No wahala then. It, oh, yeah, now continue. Even when I yeah, even when I read that. comment on your platform, hmm. I see people look talking as a god who caused this country. Don't know. Boy, if they sacrifice they do on Nigeria youth. That make them lost it. I don't know. I think because I don't know at my mother age today. I live in abroad. I pay my mother for it, for a generator. I pay for a hospital B. I pay for everything my mother eats. Why is more tell me call me? I know what to do. Then the government cannot provide anything for my own mother with his age, with her age. Then how you? That is your youth of 20 years. Yeah. You are fighting my yeah. or comment session. Yeah. Fighting Peter will be yeah. comment session. Somebody will say, he will say, even, <laughs> uh, I mean, Peter will will never be president of this country by the grace of God. Yeah. We dodge a bullet at, at your age. Okay. 
I ask, I say, if Peter B is not president, yeah. your leaders that you are supporting, they are praying to be like Peter B. He said, already you are abusing. Your leaders take their children from Nigeria to go and put in this country. Yeah. Where so already children are running around as an area boy and area girl. Hmm. That's where your leader use your own money to go and sponsor their children there. The children you are abusing. The children don't even know you. The future of that guy is where it's funny. He's just always fighting for you yeah. to have a good life. You are you become a way keyboard warrior. Hey. Right thing. Loving, uh, loving your oppressors. Like person with a sweat. So much. Eh? And they talk, you that person sit talk saying life never spoil. And they sure say their level lives never spoil this way. Yeah. Defending your my ego is advising you. you. Eh, I'll tell you something though. Yeah. Now the same show we tell all of us say, see you. If you want to fight for Nigerians, okay, you have to remember that you can only use one hand. Number one, don't okay. fight for them. But if you choose to, it's okay. But you have to use one hand. That one hand you are using okay. to fight the the oppressors. Fight them, fight them. You have to use this other hand, not to do fighting, you know, but to protect yourself. From Nigerians, we go to okay. stone you. We won't beat you. So we okay. send you. Did we send you to go and criticize government? Did we send you to go and okay. fight government? You this show, right? He this show, right? This show mm -hmm. is a troublemaker. This uh, okay. we will send you. So I now okay. said, well, why would anybody want to put themselves in that situation? I don't want to fight for Nigeria. My my ego come out every day just to enlighten your dull brain. You could erect. This yeah. my ego say yo too much. Yeah. You are your prayer point, your leader. Yeah. Your prayer point of the prayer point of your leader is to steal your money. Yeah. So go and put their children in the school. My ego children are going yeah. with that friend. My you children are for children people meet for the same place, yeah. And then uh, my, my, myself and and them will go meet for the same doctor, GP. The same doctor that they come here, come they get special treatment with. It's the same doctor who work can enter because of the pay tax. Now there you go, yes, see keyboard warrior. Enemy. Enemy. You will be saying, you know, hey. you, know they, you won't go, go to where I can't tell you, say you deserve better, but not me be the enemy. Explain to me, say, I'm back. I don't tire. These people don't need to fight for a bag. May they enjoy the oppressor. Yeah. Thank you so much, bro. God bless you. Good, 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 good night, nice, eh? So okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number one. Nice one. See, oh, eh, everybody knows, say, number one, uh, I may not kind of say all of us with the diaspora, we are overreacting or we are the ones showing too much concern. I'm not going to say that. It might look like that. There are those within that Nigeria that gives uh, thanks. And they remain very, very grateful for platforms like this that help them to find answers to their thoughts. Because there are people in Nigeria that uh, ordinarily, their fellow Nigerians are looking at them, say there's something is wrong with them, or trying to reject the same system that they are supporting and praising. And somehow, somehow, these guys are just they're like, uh, are we doing something wrong? Are we, are we actually doing something right? Could standing up mean something right? Platforms like Mayegu's Diary Political reassure them that it is actually the right thing to stand up against any evil that you know is practically there to work against you. So that is why platforms like this, they do help. It seems like they are not, they are not going far enough. They're not going far enough. I've told you, you need to go and look for somebody who can sign a, a sort of a 100,000 uh, pound sterling uh, deal with Mayegu here. I'm not saying they should give me 100,000. I'm talking about where I can actually recruit the real resources, you know, the real people within that space, Abi, that all of us with the couple say, bless them, know they hear this message. Now, now we can come back later. So, but bless them, this message is too loud for everybody now. Because listen, eh, it is like we are not winning. Eh? And it's sad. See, those of us in the diaspora, what we are seeing, and we continue to see and continue to raise alarm, especially for those who pretend that they are not seeing them, okay? It's so crucial that we are using one stone to kill two birds. I'll tell you more later. Austin is on the line. I don't know if he's still there. Austin, are you there? I'm still here. I'm still here, Mayugu, Mayugu, I'm here. I kind of lost you. I was like, oh, Austin is here, but you are so gone. 
Hello, how are you tonight? No, no, no. I'm okay, my brother. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thanks for asking. Please. Well, um, I don't even know how, how to thank you enough because you are doing a wonderful work. Despite all your efforts and how to sensitize uh, the people and uh, it seems uh, we are just pouring water on the stone. But uh, and it breaks out I really have... where people will go there, come back and tell us that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, I, I am starting from the comments here. Yeah, yeah, um, the, the, the man from the Temple of Truth that went to Nigeria. I am not surprised because I have it even in my own family. Hmm. Even, in my, even in my own family. All of us believe in separation. Only my sister doesn't believe in separation. <laughs> All of us. I, she's in, even she's before she's my in Nigeria or she's here. <laughs> <laughs> even before my mother died, she believes in, in separation. Yeah, she's still in Nigeria. Right. And she's right. only it's depending she's only, and, she's, and she's only depending on me. Hmm. That doesn't believe uh, that doesn't believe in one Nigeria. So that is to tell you the irony of it. So, but uh, what, I, what I want to say, I have never been surprised because you don't know the damage in Nigeria. The number the damage in Nigeria is very big, extremely big. It's even bigger than what we can think or believe on. The damage in Nigeria is so much huge. So that is one thing about Nigerians. Nigerians are not people that are um, consistent. What you are believing outside, you don't believe it, you don't know it. They propagate everything because they are criminally minded. That is the reason why they are um, thinking outside of uh, leave it like that, leave it like that, because everybody is believing that one so day no they it will get to so their own That we are yeah, not yeah. down. I see. Exactly. exactly. It's only in Nigeria you will see that somebody will tell you, ah, how I wish now I would be going on the street and I pick 20 million naira. Who will throw 20 million naira on the street? Who will do that? Which pocket? How did they carry the money? It's only in Nigeria you hear that kind of story. That is why a pastor will come and say, money is going to enter into your bank account. Now, um, heavenly money. Everybody will start praying. Miracle, yeah, no, miracle, miracle, miracle money. Miracle money. Miracle, miracle money. That is only in Nigeria. I know. Miracle. Yeah. That's only in Nigeria. So Nigeria, their brains are so damaged that you can't repair it. There is no way you can repair it. So if you are talking about Alan Onyema, Alan Onyema has been a criminal. Forget all these things. He's a criminal. Mm. Forget all these things. He is only speaking for his people that say he's an agent. They sent him to come and say, uh, tell and, and brainwash the people that he can brainwash, mm. telling you, uh, why are you going to abroad? Why are you going to abroad? If you are earning 200,000, you are who said that the, the Igbos don't need the Afra. Nobody should talk about exactly. that because exactly. Igbos are trying to. Yeah, he is a good example of the Igbos who believe he's in Nigeria. A, he's a criminal. Best in Nigeria. Ah, man. So ask, him how, continue. Ask, him, ask, him, ask him how he made his money. Mm. Ask him how he got his money. How come that every Christmas, Alice Onyema, Igbos should be paying 250000 to to fly from Lagos to East? Whilst he, he, the same flight he's mm. using. To fly from Lagos to Ghana will be paying 140,000. Wow. Ask me why? He's a criminal. So it's only people that are su uh, supporting him blindly yeah. because Nigerians are people that you can never trust. You can never trust Nigeria. You can never trust Nigeria. I'm telling you, most of these guys you are seeing, they are agents. Mm -hmm. Even that man that are telling you that he's selling building materials in, uh, in Benin, you might be surprised. That is one of all these uh, governors, uh, um, agents, govern politicians that were running errands for politicians. Hmm. I'm telling you honestly, it, yeah. you will never know. See, this will, guy he was so sure. It was like yeah. he's a Benin man, okay, and he believes that uh, yeah. if he's given a choice, okay, to choose uh, where he would yeah. like to be, he said he would yeah. just be Afra. All right, he's probably somebody who is yeah. so much yeah. like uh, vast in it. And he said he's doing so because yeah. of uh, his own historical, uh, what do you call it, historical yeah. uh, 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 link to but this whole thing, right? Yeah. So he saw an Igbo man, he, yeah. in. he was ready to spend all his last card there, get uh, everything he wanted for his uh, uh, construction and all that there. Then conversation went on. How can an, an original Igbo man eh, not know that somebody would throw the bait of, uh, are you in support of Biafra or not? You should not go all out and begin the yarn nonsense until you know better. Who is this guy? The guy who just spent 38 million yeah. on the shop. Eh? Okay, yeah. let me know yeah. if he's a pro Nigeria. So I go know how to answer. 
Let me know if it's a pro be yeah, yeah. you know how to answer. What kind of yeah. an Igbo man with yeah. throw be under the bus and think he's making sense? My ego, my ego. You are not supposed to you are not supposed to be surprised. You know why? You know why? Let me tell you, there is even one roof raff that was it that used to come to Abuja. I think they are they arrested him now. He used to write Ijele. his own placard. Come with Ijele, Ijele, yeah, yeah, Ijele. come with with his own guys. He's also by who posted them and all the other guys. There are many 